morning y'all day three at camp water clarity has improved i'm hoping it was worth staying last night so we can go catch some fish i'm going to be fishing till about noon today then i gotta get back and do some work on the chicken coop i want to get that thing ready so that this weekend we can go get our chickens yesterday this was the key basically egg sacks and you you stick them on the bottom you got stinky bait on there put a little split shot I hope we don't have to end up doing that today, but you know, if you sit there and do that for like an hour or two, you might get your limit. It's pretty effective in, in the rough conditions, but in, in my opinion, way more fun is the lures and you can really rack them up too, like you're constantly casting in different areas and picking off fish. I still think fly fishing is off the table because the water's still tea colored, but a nice flashy lure putting out some good presents. I think these trout will whack it. Let's get the waders on. They do have a hole in them. I think it's time for a new set of waders, but we're gonna endure. Oh yeah, water's looking better today, y'all. Well, buddy Lance is already down there, giving it some whips. He's actually walked out to the main part of the river, so that means the water's come down another half a foot or so where we can really access some of these other spots. If you need another reel, I got one. What? You lost your uh, drag control? It's unfortunate. Lost his damn reel handle. Oh, I got one! Guys, I got one! I got, I got one right by Chris! Right by his feet! Rooster tail. Yeah. Wow, what a little donker. Little guy, little guy. Just gonna put little buddy in my pouch for a second. <laughs> I, I gotta put him in my fanny pack for a second. Just for a minute. I'm on a hot bite right here. Eight inches are chomping. Yeah, white and little chartreuse. That's the first bite on a lure, though. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Well, that's too. Oh, I got another one. Dang, you come off. All right, y'all, I'm going to put this fish on my stringer. I've gotten two bites, landed one. I landed the tiny one. Here we go. Tiny is tied up. Okay, I'm switched up to the power bait. Even though the sun's coming out, there's just a really specific spot right here. Ultra micro spot within a spot. And I've gotten bit on my rooster tail like four times. I've only hooked up with, well, I've had two fish on. I've had two other bites that have just not connected. Got him on the power bait. There you go, buddy. Hey, they're, okay, they're running the lens. I got bit with the power bait a couple times. Wasn't successful on getting the hook up, and I just said, I can't do it. I like throwing. I like throwing the lures. But still, I've had five bites on lures, and I, I haven't landed, landed them. Oh, no, it's a rum. What? It's a what? Dude, I popped it out of a rock and this sucker grabbed it. A drum? Yeah. Yeah, it's a drum. Oh, you found it. Oh, I snagged it. Oh, it's a red sucker. It's a sucker fish. <laughs> they got sucker hooked. <laughs> it got suckered. Wow. Catch of the day. I hear they eat good. <laughs> what do you think? You gotta be a sucker to eat that. What do you think? Uh, you gonna try that? I've had them. Really? I've had them. I've caught, I've caught them up in Missouri. The only way you can catch them is snagging them. 
Really? Yeah. But I'm going to tell you what, they're not that good. They're <laughs> definitely not as good as a trout. I even went for that power bait, that little nugget on there. You know what? I bet you you were hung up. I bet you he uh, rolled on it. Yep. Popped it out. I was snagged. And then he grabbed it. Oh, I heard your, your uh, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a... Uh, a red horse sucker. Poop. You're making a poop. A red horse sucker, I believe. He's, he's doing a little poop sash right there, and um, you can tell that they are they are just made for eating on the bottom. This is a, called a subterminal mouth, right here. It's just facing downward, and they uh, they just suck stuff up off the rocks. So my lure was stuck on a rock, and then he uh, came over and grabbed it. This is the this is a rare catch for me. It's hard to catch these because you're basically just snagging them if you do. They don't really eat anything. But we'll let him go so we can suck all this uh, mud out of the, the river here. Hopefully clean it up a little bit. Have a good day, sucker. We're gonna take that sucker fish as it's a sign of the times. So we need to move. Water level's getting pretty normal and it is cleaning up. If you get on the right spot, the right lure, it's over. Catch, catch a limit quick, but I'm gonna give it another hour and a half, then I'm cutting out, head back to the chickens. <sighs> okay, we got our little trout cleaned. We're at a new spot, much more scenic. Lots of little waterfalls in here. Water's still dirty, just got my first bite. Somewhere out there in the middle. Had him on, and he just came off. That's been the problem. I, I had two bites in here. I had one on. I lost him right where you're standing. Uh, what are you using, I was using a super duper. It was extremely slow. It's basically just letting it hit the bottom. All right, well, good luck. Time to pack up the last little bits of camp and head back to the treehouse. One little micro fish. That's all I got, y'all. I lost every good fish I hooked. This is the only one that made it. I mean, if I still had him on a stringer, I'd probably let him go, but I pretty much cleaned him right away. That'll just have to be a little appetizer or something with another meal. We got the tent we gotta take down, which I love. Did I mention I love this tent? How fast it goes down and up and packs away. It, even though I love my big canvas tent, it's kind of like this one. Same people make this one, Kodiak Canvas, but this one right here, it is the bee's knees. Watch me break this down, time me. Pretty dang close to five minutes, y'all. We'll call this a five minute tent. My other one, I don't set it up unless I'm staying there for at least three days, because it takes an hour to set up. Okay, little guy going in the go bag, done. Put the cooler in here, we are on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, conditions have changed for the awesomeness. Ah, worst part is, just got a text from Lance. And uh, Buddy Lance said, the trout are a munching now. The water's cleared up. Um, pretty much everybody's caught their limits. And the time that I left and I've gotten back here and started working on the chicken coop. I, I came home and I, I showed OSG, my, my really small trout. And to be honest with you, she wasn't really impressed. She was, she was not impressed by the trout. Anyway, we're ready to put in some work out here at the little treehouse homestead. I gotta catch you guys up on what, what I've got going on in the chicken coop. The chicken run, I should say. We are close to getting them winged friends in there and OSG's out here just killing the game, killing the yardscape game. She's making a, uh, a beautiful flower bed around the trees. We're gonna have a little walkway leading to the chicken coop. Come out here, get our eggs in the morning with our coffee. Say what? Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be good. And you got a nice new front yard now that looks delicious. I know. Did you tell him about the scorpion that I found? I did not, no. Is it still there? 
Is it uh, dead? No, I killed it. Long you killed it, and you discarded it. <laughs> See, if we already had the chickens around, we wouldn't have no scorpions. They just munch on them things. They're just little savage velociraptors. We've made big moves over here in the chicken game, y'all. Check this out. I've got stained panels up. I've got three so far. Beam complete all the way across. Uh, we ended up going with a notch peg over here. It didn't work out so well over here. The angle of the dangle was not correct on this post. So I ended up just having to punt on my, uh, you know, I spent all that time making that notch there and I filled it in with a two by four. It looks, looks terrible, but functional. It's gonna work now, but look at this y'all. Head height, great. I can walk right under it, walk in here. The chickens be flying up, hitting this. They're fine. I can just pff, grab them out of there. Bobcats come in, boom. They're gonna get right in that, get snagged. Feet are gonna be dangling. Chickens are gonna pop up and they're gonna be eating their toes. That's how it's gonna go. Took some other two by twos, put it up on the two by six to rest a little ridge. Got two and a half inch deck nails, just screwed them in. Working out nice, holding up. OSG, God bless her. <laughs> her two hours away from from Emmy, she's, that's being yeah, babysat right now, and she's out here just getting after it. True story though, I came home one time from a business trip, and she had dug up an entire huge circle. It was like this big, as big as a flower bed, in the backyard, and she was making like a fire pit. I came home and like all the grass was gone. It was just a, it looked like a UFO landed in the center. And it was just there. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I mean, that. you got after it. And then we had to haul the grass away because we just had we like did. a mound of we grass. We ended up dumping it in some river somewhere. Apologize. So my goal for today, build a couple more panels for the run. And I've already got one cut out. I'm going to finish putting the chicken wire on it. We're going to complete this side right here and close that. And we're, when we get our new coop, this tiny one right here, I mean, this one holds like four chickens max. But we're gonna get a new one. We're gonna lower it in right here, and it's gonna sit under there, and then we're gonna fully enclose the whole thing. Tell you what, chicken wire, working with that all day, that is a good workout. <laughs> but we are done. We are done. Look at look at my little my little huntress. Have right you here. seen any baby so cute? Ready. I mean dinosaur rain boots with a Valentine's Day dress. OSG phase one of the new flower bed complete. Looking quite good, honey. Thank you. Come on in and check it out. Ooh. Excited for this. Let's go inside the cage. Oh, honey, this looks good. Oh, yeah. This looks good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, well, it's perfect for me. I mean, yeah, me too. Quality craftsmanship. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far uh, so? with the quality, but there is some craftsmanship that's yeah. going on. So I ended up taking the two and a half inch nails, screwing these boards together because all of them are bowed. But now they're all connected, flush, flush. There's no bobcat cracks in here. Fish and Freaks, go ahead and just give me a little like button. I'm getting the like button from OSG right now. She's gonna make me so, some brownies. She so just told good. me. Are you proud of yourself? I, I'm kind of proud of myself. I gotta clean it up a little bit, but our chickens are gonna be safe. They're gonna be happy. You're not gonna have any more carnivorous foxes uh, I'm not gonna have to go chase chewing down. the necks of our chickens on the back deck. <laughs> That was terrible. That was terrible, y'all. We definitely don't want that to happen again. So the penitentiary, um, it's getting there. We're, we're halfway. What do you think about my little trout? You're, about, what are you going to do with that? Just a little appetizer. For you only. <laughs> you proud of it? No. Maybe for Emmy. <laughs> there you go. It's an Emmy it's, sized trout. It's an Emmy sized trout. But thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be finishing this up soon, so stay tuned because you know what happens next. We're getting the cluckers. And coming up later this week, we're going to be doing some early season deep in the creek exploration with the crispy and seeing if the bass, white bass, any kind of basses are moving up there already with 78 degrees today. Can you believe it? So I'm signing out, y'all. God bless you. I'll see y'all in the next one.